Hello gems and welcome back to the Sapphire Star. Today in this video we are going to be learning how to bring logos into Vroid Studio and put them on t-shirts, pants, dresses, anything you want. I'll be showing you a t-shirt example in this video but this will be applicable for anything. So if there's a logo or a type of shirt you want to make or even grab some art off of Google, this tutorial is going to be great for you. Here's what the end product is going to look like and if you would actually like to download this shirt for free, you can check out the link in the description over on my booth to download it and use this shirt for yourself. All right, let's get t-shirt making. I'm going to show you guys how to put a logo on, on Vroid clothes. I asked chat what they thought about what logo we're going to do. We had votes for Blade of Ten, Supreme, Pepsi, Sanrio. I don't even know what Joja is. Umbrella Corp, Toki Doki. Okay, Sanrio. I'm just going to choose Sanrio. Okay, guys, I know I said it. I know I said I'd say first one, but I'm biased right now to Sanrio. So we're just going to create a new model really quick. Um, if you want to use a pre-existing model, great. You can do that too. Okay, so here's... Here's our shirt. I'm just going to use a basic shirt. We're not going to get too crazy with it right now. So when you have a shirt in Vroid Studio uh, or any clothing, you can actually export it out as a flat texture. So I'll explain what that means more in a few moments. We're going to go to our outfit tab up here and then you will go to the shirt. So we're ob obviously we're going to be putting it on the top. So we'll navigate to the top section. And then here's the shirt right here. You'll go to the upper right above my head right here and click edit texture. Okay. Next, you get something called a texture. This is a common, this is a common terminology or vocabulary word used in 3D modeling called texture. It's also used for 2D art as well. But the texture basically is what is on the actual object. So the shirt has a texture. Every 3D object is assigned a texture, which is a flat flat map that wraps around the 3D object. So we have like the shorts, the shorts have a texture, which is the lines you see here in the colors. Uh, the eyes have a texture. This is all a texture that's drawn right here. Again, it's all 2D art that's wrapped around a 3D model. So that's why it appears flat over here. So this is what the texture looks like. Even though it's wrapping around a 3D object, we have something called UVs, which is what this is in 3D modeling. Um, and this is, this is the texture that's applied on top of the UV, which allows it to wrap around a 3D model. Uh, we're going to right click on the layer over here. You can do this for anything, whether it's the shorts, the hair, the eyes, whatever. We click export. We can save it to our desktop. We can put it in a place where it's going to be easily findable. And we're just going to call this shirt logo. So we exported that to our desktop. Next, you can choose an art program, any art program of your choosing that you like to use. Clip Studio, Paint, Photoshop, GIMP. Don't use GIMP. GIMP is terrible. And so once you have that, all I'm going to do is go up to file and click open. And then I'm going to click on my computer and just grab the direct file, the direct texture. You don't need to do new file. Try to open the texture directly so you can keep the same dimensions. Because if you create a new file and you don't have the same dimensions, that's going to cause problems for the texture. So now we have a flat layout here in Photoshop. So next we're going to grab a Sanrio, Sanrio logo. Then I'm going to go Google. Okay. We have Sanrio. Uh, let's just do this Hello Kitty one. I'm going to save, actually, this one's kind of cute. I think we'll do this. We'll save this image on our desktop. And then I'm just gonna open my file explorer, navigate to my desktop, and I'm just gonna drop it straight in. Nice. Oh, I love, I love when Google tells you that it's transparent and then it's not. I'm just gonna use the magic wand tool. It's a tool in Photoshop to delete this background here. I'm gonna have to rasterize this image first though. It just means I need to flatten it. Okay. And then we just got rid of that background. Nice. So obviously we want to make this fit on the shirt. You can fit it however you want. I would recommend looking up shirt designs because it's possible that you can have a shirt design like this. You could have like one of those in the corner shirt logos. So we can do something like this. Actually, we'll do a mix. So I'll just do like one of those upper pockets things. So we'll put that one there and let's see if we can find like another one to put on the back. Let's just look up like, ooh, this is so pretty. I'm getting caught up in the aesthetic now. I love designing stuff like this. We'll just look up Hello Kitty transparent background and we'll put like Hello Kitty on the shirt or something on the back just for fun. Okay, great. And then we'll drop this in here and I have to do the same thing with my magic wand tool. I'm just going to rasterize my layer and then delete the background there. And then we got the back of the shirt. So I'm just going to put this on the back because this is the back of the shirt. Okay, nice. Can we do a poll later on best Sanrio character? I don't even know all the Sanrio. What are all the Sanrio, uh, Sanrio ah. characters? Okay, awesome. We got it. This is our design. Hopefully you're following along if you're trying to learn. We got our design set, ready to go. Sanrio. We're going to export, quick export. 
I should have added an extra caution to you to be careful because I don't know if there's any legality trouble behind like having your own logo shirts digitally. I literally don't know. So please keep that in mind. Uh, shirt logo test two. I'll just call this two so we have that saved. Nice. Now we can navigate back into Vroid and all you do is go back to the exact same spot we were at. Layers, texture, the shirt texture. Right click, import, and we're just going to replace it with the new shirt. And there we go. Voila. Look, beautiful. We did it. Victory screech. And it's that simple. Nice. It looks great. Honestly, kind of wanting this shirt now. Kind of wanting this shirt as my own. <laughs> and yeah, again, you can do that with anything. So like if we wanted to edit the bottom texture, you just go to the bottom and you'd export this texture and then import it back in when you get the new ones. So now also when we exit out with the new Vroid Studio, you can it knows that we created new tops. So we can save this as a new item. So now we have the Sanrio shirt saved. I can put it on any model I want. So if I go like back to my models, back to model selection, and I open this version of Saya, even though this is, or this is one we are working on. Outfit, tops, you can go to custom. And look, our shirt is right there. Yo, we didn't even have to remake it. It's saved with the new view. You can put it on any model. We have it saved. Fantastic. So if you have multiple models and you want to make like a custom thing, you can put it on any model. Isn't that epic? Congratulations. You have made your very own shirt and texture. If you're interested in making your very own eye texture, I also have a tutorial for that. And you can go over and watch that one next. Very similar process. And you're going to get beautiful eyes. It's not like your eyes are beautiful or anything but Baka. I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!